Let's go learn about Korean modern art with our president, Kim Namju. Let's go. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> we have a nice little art piece on here. I know. And food. Oh, we got food? We got food. Do you have jjajangmyeon? Do you have tteokbokki? <laughs> RM of K-pop sensation BTS has narrated an audio guide for the selected 10 pieces of the upcoming exhibition, both in English and Korean. His narration will be available at the LA County Museum of Arts. As soon as we heard that familia, we knew we had to come. This was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity where we got to learn about one of our favorite cultures from one of our favorite people, our president, Kim Namjoon. So this groundbreaking show will display around 130 pieces of work by 88 different painters, sculptors, and photographers. The space between the modern and Korean art is the first of its kind here in the West and will cover the years 1897 all the way to 1965. We are very excited for this rare and fun opportunity where we're going to learn about the Korean history through Namjoon himself. We are so excited, Familia, and we just wanted to bring you along in case you're not able to experience this due to the location. All right, let's get it. So before arriving, we were honestly so curious as to how everything was going to work. Like, was RM's voice just going to be playing as you walked up to like the art piece? Or were we going to walk in and his voice was just playing out loud throughout the auditorium or something? We were honestly very excited to just hear Namjoon's voice be playing in public. <laughs> we just found RM's voice. So I honestly didn't think that we were going to hear Namjoon's voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> this is really fun as an army experiencing this through Namjoon's perspective. But come to realize that there were 10 selected pieces and they had a little QR code with a description saying to scan it to hear RM's voice. So when you scanned it, it would take you to the SoundCloud and you could play it on your phone. And Familia, we were so freaking excited as soon as we heard RM's voice playing after we scanned the QR code. <laughs> Kim began incorporating elements of traditional Korean culture into his paintings, such as mountains, plum blossoms, and white porcelains, especially the moon jars. It was in Paris that Kim painted Mountain and Moon, which captures a theme that was very dear to his heart. Thick brush strokes represent mount ridges, while the lower half of the painting is dominated by a round full moon. Well, I was actually very excited to see this one. This one's actually a very favorite one amongst Koreans. We just listened to RM describe this to us and it gets very detailed familiar. He goes very into depth about it. This is making me appreciate art so much more. I love that Namjoon takes so much pride in art. I feel like he wants to represent his people. He wants to represent Korea so well. And he wants to help Korean artists like get more exposure. There's even like a broken glass one. That one was quite interesting. Could have been one of my favorites just because of that. Wow, look at this. This art piece looks like just broken glass. So this one is titled Artwork. He experimented with monochrome abstraction using materials like wire, glass bottles, and light bulb. There's a bunch of other favorites that I have my eye out for. Let's keep looking, Familia. Let's learn about composition by Yu Yong-kuk. 1957. Along with Kim Hwan-gi, 
Yoo Young-guk was one of the frontrunners of Korean abstract art in the early 1930s. The spirit of determination was evident from a young age when he chose to attend Bunkagakuen University in Tokyo. This is honestly making me like want to study more art. It was so inspiring. Like two or three pieces literally gave me the chills from how much emotion it was evoking out of me. RM helped us discover a new painting titled Refuge Train by Kim Won Ki. It's showing a train transporting people from Seoul to Busan, which we learned right now. Busan was the interim capital at one point. If you look at the painting, you can see the train cars are packed with faces of those fleeing Seoul to the safety of Busan. This piece is showcasing the desperate measures taken by people escaping the war activities around Seoul. Whew, I get the chills looking at that. I honestly learned a lot today. I feel like I learned more about the history of Korea compared to like art. I feel like these paintings that we saw today told a really good story about the hard times that Korea was going through back in the days. Most of the paintings were like serious and I feel like there was a lot of agony in the paintings. We saw a lot of paintings of like Korea going through change. I found this one so interesting honestly. It's titled John Jong Clear Sound. It shows two female figures leisurely listening to a phonograph at home. The imported commodities around them, a phonograph, a basketball, and Western furniture signify the family's wealth and exemplify a growing affinity for modern consumerism, reflecting new attitudes towards the incoming Western goods and ideas. Made in 1934. So impressive, honestly. <laughs> I also really enjoyed the portraits of the women. It was quite powerful to see the inspiration of women becoming educated women even so far back. Very inspiring. They're like showing a modern era for feminism that was centered around educating women. This painting was painted by the very first female oil painter in Korea. Her name is Ra. This is actually a painting of herself. It's a self-portrait. She has short hair and she's in Western style clothing. This is like a typical style that represents new woman in the late 1920s. I think this is so awesome. Definitely a very empowering painting, Familia, and it was really nice to hear Namjoon speak about it as well. This makes me want to visit art museums so much more. You get so inspired. You're really forced to think outside the box, honestly. For some reason, I have like an expectation that art is just paint on canvas, but you could change up what you use to make art. You could change up the canvas. You could play with textures. You could play with items. The world is open. There are no rules, and I love when they go outside the box. I feel like these artists didn't even have the resources we have now. I could just go to Hobby Lobby or Walmart and buy all these art supplies, but them, they had to get so resourceful because of their lack of options, which is even more inspiring, honestly. I first started learning about Korea thanks to BTS and then I started watching like some YouTube videos but today I got the rare experience to learn about the history of Korea through like historical paintings. It honestly made me even more curious. Now I want to go home and do even more research. These paintings definitely provoked some more curiosity. So let's see where this art journey takes us thanks to Namjoon. But I do have like one thing I wish was in the museum that wasn't but I feel like it would have fit so well. This picture right here. Yeah. 